Tunakupa heshima, tunakupa utukufu. Bwana umekuwa pamoja nasi tangu tulipoona mwaka huu kianza e Bwana. Tunasema ni asante kwa kila hatua ambayo Bwana umetuwezesha kuchukua e Kristo. Ni asante e Bwana kwa sababu ya vita ambavyo umetupigania. Ni asante e Bwana kwa sababu ya kulinda maisha kila mmoja wetu. Thank you because your Lord, your one says we are two or three gather in your name. Your presence is together with them, dear Lord God Almighty. Thank you for your servant at this time to minister of your oracle. We pray for special anointing. We pray for special favor of God. We pray for special utterances, revelation that come from the Lord our Father. In the mighty name of the Lord, O oh God, may you use him ever, never than before, dear Lord God Almighty, for your glory and for your honor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. jina langu ni uh, askofu daktari Patrick uh, Motegi Ridiri I'm the senior pastor uh, of Gospel Celebration Church uh, Chuka Town and uh, on behalf of this congregation uh, those who are present here I take this opportunity to welcome you feel at Jesus Christ and God is going to speak to you I want to speak I want to share with us um on focusing focusing on the new without dwelling on the past focusing on the new without dwelling on the past that's what the spirit of the lord spoke to me to share with us forget the former things do not dwell on the past See I am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it or do you not perceive it i am making a way in the desert and the streams in the wasteland Let's go to Philippians. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet I've taken hold of it. I have not stopped my journey. That's what Paul is saying. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. Now, I would like you to underline if I told you your name from your own Bible straining I press on the one press on underline it to wants the goal goal underline it to win the prize underline to win the prize for which God has called me every word in Christ Jesus our everlasting father thank you for bringing us to the end of this year Lord we worship you we exalt your name It is not out of our effort that we are here Bless us and speak to us Lord and speak to our hearts oh Lord speak to our minds speak to our soul Your word is alive and active everlasting Father sharper than any and two and sword to cut between the spirit and the soul and to cut between the marrow and the bone and to discern the intent of the spirit we thank you jesus bless us and speak to us in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen let's put our hands together for jesus now the lord is speaking to us to forget the past whether the past was good whether the past was evil forget it and forge forward if we go back to verses 10 of philippians the same chapter we will see what this man is saying verses 10 of chapter 3 let's go there i want to know christ and the power 
of his resurrection and the, sh and the sharing of his suffering by becoming like him in his death. The thing is that you, you, you don't just desire to live at the level where you are. Desire to grow. Desire to move. If at all you think you have failed, you have failed. God is with you. God is planning for your success. God is planning. When the Lord is telling us, we shouldn't forget about the past. Sometimes the past can mislead us. We can use to sow uh, uh, much of the past and then we are misled. Sometimes we settle on the comfort zone of the past and we do not want to forge into the, into the, new, uh, into the new areas. A man called Samson was used of the presence of the Lord. Samson was used until alizoea mungu na akazoea nguvu za mungu na akafikiria ni kama nguvu za mungu zinaishi pale kwa sababu ya yeye kuwa pale akasahau nguvu za mungu zinaletangwa na usiano wake na mungu siku moja alipo njiachilia kwa kufikiria yeye ni anibogabo kwa kufikiria yeye awezi kutikizi, kutikizika ama kutikizwa na yeyote let's see in judges chapter 16 verses uh, 19 and 20 uh, uh, verses 19 and 20 having put him to sleep on a rap on a rap she called a man to shave of the seven uh, braids of his hair and so began to subdue him and his strength left him then he as uh, she called she called Samson the Philistines are upon you he awoke from his sleep and thought look he thought you see when you dwell on the past success you can become used to it until when the enemy comes, approaches, and comes to you, you are not aware. Then he says, he thought, I will go out as before. What does that tell you? He was living on the past. He was saying, just like the way I did yesterday, just like the way I did this morning, just like the way I did last year, just like the way I, I did last week, I will wake up and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. You see, the strength was as a result of the, of the presence of God. That's what happened. Therefore, don't just dwell on your success and enjoy and think things will be the same every time. You must wake up and do a new thing because the Lord has given you. We normally say yesterday's fire. Yesterday's what? Ashes. Yesterday's fire. Moto wanjana ni manjivu ya leo. Moto wanjana wapendwa ni manjivu ya leo. That's why we are, we are told forget the former things. Whether you succeeded or not, forget, forge, for one, do things. New things before the Lord. That is what the Lord requires of you. So the two women went on until they came to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, the old town was stirred because of them. And the women explained, can this be Naomi? Don't call me Naomi. She told them, call me Mara, because the Almighty has made me, uh, uh, has made my life very better. 21. I went away full, but the Lord has brought me back empty. Why? Call me Naomi. 
The Lord has afflicted me. The Almighty has brought misfortune upon me. Now, this is a spirit of discouragement. This is a spirit of failure. This is a, ma, a woman that is talking as a failure. He is talking in terms, uh, you know, in terms of discouragement. He is even blaming the Lord for his own failure. Therefore, she is so much discouraged. She is being called Naomi because they knew the, the, the meaning of the, of the word Naomi, sweetness, you know, joy. But now she said, no, do not call me Naomi, call me Mara because I am so bitter, I am so discouraged, I am nothing. May your bitterness change into sweetness. I declare may your failure turn into success in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, may your failure turn into success. Your discouragement turn into joy. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's see what happened afterwards. This woman, though she called herself Mara, there are things she, she instructed as daughter-in-law and they succeeded and here we hear Naomi now getting into the dim light of success let's go to Ruth chapter 4 verses 13 15, uh, 14 and 15 so Boaz took Ruth and she made she became his wife then he went to her and the Lord enabled her to conceive and she gave birth to a son the women said to Naomi, praise be to the Lord who this day has not left you without a king's man redeemer. He was blaming the Lord, but the Lord has come into his own way to raise her up. May he become famous throughout Israel. He will renew your life and sustain you in your own age for your daughter-in-law who loves you and who is better to you than seven sons has given him birth. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, say, my failures will turn to successes. Come on, say, my failures will turn to successes. Whatever you count as your failure, just go to the Lord. Do not just get this kind and stay there. Just go to the Lord. Speak to God. Just like the way Job never abused or insulted or sinned against God. He went talking good about God, even though her his friends were talking against him. And they talked throughout. But this man continued to trust in the Lord. And you remember what happened? God lifted him again. And he became double richer. And the Bible says, as family men, as family uh, members, and as friends came to comfort him, and they brought him silver and gold. May your relatives bring silver and gold unto you this year. May they come to visit you. They thought you'll get lost. They thought you are useless. They thought you cannot do anything. They thought nothing good can happen about you. But I declare they will come to you. Hallelujah. To enjoy the success that God has given you. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Wherever you are. If you are in a discouragement this is not where you are meant to be you are not meant to be where you are if you are there you have succeeded this year that is not the success that god wants with you now suppose ungepiga Labda ungesema ya kwamba nimepata simu sitaki simu ingine. Where would you be today? Ikiwa ile ninakumbuka kale nilikuwa ninunua kwanza kalikuwa kanaitwa sijui ni Sagem. 
ka, kaingine kalikuwa na na na, na mlingoti eh hey, kalikuwa na elio kalikuwa nina kahangi hapa kakiwa na kamfuko ya kitu ako kasimu ningekaweka leo niseme ya kwamba hii ndio simu nitaishi nayo mpaka nikufe mimi i am person that keeps history and i don't want to change you'll be very far na wewe una unaegemea ako kasatsi kako kandogo kuna mwanga kuna utere uko mbele katika jina la Yesu Kristo praise the name of the lord kuna utere uko mbele kuna success kuna mambo ya kiroho kuna mambo ya ushindi kuna mambo ambayo yako mbele yetu praise the name of the lord yes where you are that's not where you are coming that's not where what you are meant for Now This is not what you are meant for. Whatever you hold now, that is not what you are meant for. Whatever you count as your failure, just go to the Lord. Do not just get this guide and stay there. Just go to the Lord. Speak to God. Just like the way Job never abused or insulted or sinned against God. He went talking good about God even though her as friends were talking against him and they talked throughout but this man continued to trust in the Lord and you remember what happened God lifted him again focus on the new God is bringing the new praise the name of the Lord yes Wherever you are if you are in a discouragement this is not where you are meant to be you are not meant to be where you are if you are there you have succeeded this year that is not the success that God wants with you suppose Joseph when he was in the house of Potiphar stayed there and said now i am comfortable here no He was not comfortable there. But one thing I like about him, wherever he was, he did the best to maintain a good relationship with God. He did the best to make sure that he is a good example. Alipotoka hapo, alienda mahali mbaya. Akaenda kwa njera. Miaka miwili akakaa huko na huko anajua atakaa huko mpaka lini ni Mungu alimtoa huko naye huko alikuwa mwaminifu kwa njera baadaye Mungu akampeleka mahali pake kwa maana his destiny was to save the whole world not only Egypt praise the name of the lord it was to save his brothers who meant evil about him brethren as a church there are many things there are many people who, who mean evil about you there are many people even though you are in your office there are many people who mean who mean evil for you but make sure that you do your best you do your best in accordance with the will of god and god will lift you and god will promote you because promotion does not come from east nor from west nor from south it comes directly from your god philippians have told us i will not strain towards what is ahead i will not strain towards what is ahead I will press on towards the goal. It is my prayer that each one of us will not just kick bush. Or on the year 2021 be a man, a woman of goals. What are you aiming at? Paul says I don't just box to the hair. I aim at something. Praise the name of the Lord. I aim at something. Make sure that you are pressing on to one's and goal. What are you you know what are you planning to go to do in the house of God? What are you planning to do in your family? What are you planning to do in your community? What are you planning to do for your country? 
you have to press on. And pressing on, you don't get tired. You don't get to waste tent. But you do not give up. Joshua and Moses, when they went to fight the Amalekites, did they all go to pray? Then they all go to fight? Meaning, after prayer, do something. Moses was in the mountain together with Harun and Hul. Joshua was down fighting. And both of them were collaborating. We cannot just stay there and pray and fail to fight our enemies. Remember what happened as this man that we call Nehemiah was building the walls, the wall of Jerusalem. The Bible says one herd was holding the weapon, the other one was walking. Let's learn to press on, brethren. Praise the name of the Lord. God does not give us wealth. What does he give us? The ability. The ability. You must work out. That's why we must not just dwell. The Lord is doing a thing. Not you. Not us. Not me. But the Lord is doing for us. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is doing for us. And the place that he is doing it, it looks impossible. The places are, uh, the Bible has called, it is undecent. It is a wasteland. But he says, I will make an highway in the desert. Those who know geography, they know what desert is. You can never see a path. Ata ikiwa iko hapa. Wind inakuta kwa sababu ya changalawa inafunika. You cannot. But the Lord is saying, where you think it is impossible, I am making a highway for you. May you receive your highway tonight. May you receive your highway tonight. May you receive your highway tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you receive a highway tonight. You are destined to turn up into a highway. And you move to your direction. He says, I will pass streams in the wasteland. May your wasteland be productive from tonight. As you go into the new year, may you are a Western lad be productive in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive productivity. May the streams of water water your waste lad and you'll be productive. Utashanga, umetoa hii wapi kwa maana bwana yetu ako na uwezo. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's all stand up before the Lord tonight. Whatever you think, whatever you think you've been focusing, do not dwell there now. We are going into, into another era. We are going into new days. We are going into new months. We are going into new seconds. We are going into new uh, hours. Yes, we are going into new. Wherever we are going, there's, there's, there, there is a new thing. We need direction. May the Lord guide us as individuals. May the Lord guide us as families. May the Lord guide us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Just open your mouth and to, you know, tell God, you know, about your waste, Lord. Tell God, this is my waste, Lord. Oh, my Father, my God, may you come down to your Father in the very mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God, to Kuinua, to Kubariki Kumana, where we Nibuana, where my work on Jehovah God, my Father, my God, King of Glory. Oh, Rimashikara Buka, may you visit us, oh God, as my Father. Our dwellings, oh God, we want now to move forward, dear Father. Oh God, you are going to a new place. Thank you, Jehovah God, because you are lifting beyond you are making a new thing. Not us, oh God, not we, oh God, my Father, not myself, not my family. Oh my God, King of Glory, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, in my shikara buka. Jesus Christ, you are worthy, Lord. You are gracious, Lord. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Lord. Hallelujah, King of Glory. You are here this evening as we praise God for the new year. When you look ahead of you, you are seeing darkness. There are some things you do not know what will happen. But God 
says, I'm doing a new thing. You are seeing desert. You are seeing withdrawal. God is ready to do. Just come to the altar. Yes, that's why you've come here tonight. God is ready to change that desert into, yes, he is ready to do a hurry for you. Utaweza kutempea bila kupotea kwa maana Mungu atafanya barabara katika hiyo desert. Mungu ataleta mito katika hiyo land for you. Just come to the altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, he is ready to do it for you. 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 There are some things you do not understand. How they are going to go and you are here tonight. Just come to the altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, because the Lord is ready. God is ready to do. To remove that kind of darkness that you are seeing. He is ready to turn that waste land. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Into productivity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Things have discouraged you this year. You do not feel like trying something again. And you are here. Please come to the altar. Because there is a new thing that God is preparing you for. Just come to the altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just come to the altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tupigia bwana makofi. Yes. Tupigia bwana makofi. Tupigia bwana makofi. Kenya. Oh, hallelujah. Kenya. Tarakanivi. You are succeeding. God's person of Brazil Church. You are succeeding. And the churches. You are succeeding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Families, you are succeeding. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hold your, your, your sacrifices. Lord, we are holding our sacrifices of thanksgiving. Whatever we are giving tonight is to thank you for bringing us, oh God, as a church, as a family, as an individual, as a county, as a nation of Kenya. Because we are part of the family called Kenya. We are part of the family called Dorakanivi. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. You have brought us into the new year. We now give our thanksgiving sacrifice for being with us in the year 2020. We are now not dwelling again. We are forgetting the here. We are looking forward. We are straining as we go forward. We are pressing on towards the goal. Lord, receive our thanksgiving sacrifices with pressure. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's come and give your sacrifices to the Lord. Yes, as you do that, you're blessed. As you do that, you're lifted. As you do that, may the Lord continue to open doors for your family. May God take care of your family. May the Lord take care of your businesses. May the Lord take care of your offices. May the Lord promote you. May the Lord heal you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. I say let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.